guys welcome uh to the real talk if you're tuning in uh welcome to real talk show where you get to be informed educated challenged on matters concerning land uh, i hope uh you exercised your civic duties uh during the just ended uh general elections and uh we pray and we thank god for the peaceful uh, elections that we've had so far uh today's show is quite a special and dear one to me you'll know that in a bit uh first and foremost let me help me introduce my two guests uh we're joined with our very own agiso cindy a senior sales executive at uh, roy branch um we are also joined with our very able ceo mr moses Muridi. That's not uh, quite an introduction. He'll introduce himself later on in the show. Uh, if you're tuning in, uh, subscribe to the channel and also hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified on any time we have a new content uploaded. We are coming live to you from Roy Branch. So just uh, before we take in to, the today, to today's show, uh, Mr. Moses, it's it's your first time it's your first time coming to live and our viewers are very excited to hear from the man behind fanaka sure. yeah so uh before we start on today's show just tell our viewers uh what made you come up with fanaka real estate like what gap did you see for you to jump in into fanaka to real estate and uh what motivated you and uh what 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 have you done so far since you started till to date Ah, good. So thanks a lot, Sharon, <laughs> uh, Cindy. It's good to be on this show. Yeah. Yeah, it's the real talk. <laughs> <laughs> so we are able to engage with our viewers and uh, be able to talk about different topics, which is a great thing, so that it helps them when it comes to investing. And again, uh, them knowing about Fanaka mm -hmm. and the areas that uh, we are looking at and the gap that we have been trying as much as possible to preach in this uh, real estate sector. Mm -hmm. So once again, our viewers, our esteemed viewers, my name is uh, Moses Morivi, I'm the company CEO. And uh, basically, <coughs> as Fanaka Real Estate, we have been in operation for the last six years. And uh, we have done various projects, uh, cutting across. And uh, for this side, we have done tremendous projects. I think they go over 30 projects. So basically, as Fadaka, what we do is to make it just that, but that in areas that are ideal in terms of our precision, where they can be able to get uh, the value within a short time. So for that purpose, uh, we started uh, along Kabudo Road in areas such as Kabul, others such as uh, Joska, Mala, Kantafu, and so forth. The reasoning behind that is because, one, we are looking for things that are affordable, going for the fact that uh, land is usually something one, uh, <clears throat> it comes to investment, uh, it, it is capital intensive. So we are looking for something that is affordable. Mm -hmm. Again, we are looking for something that, uh, for this person probably who works in the town center, mm -hmm. how can they be able to own something closer to where they are. Mm -hmm. So that if they consider doing such activities like uh, bringing up their home or so forth, they can be able to do it. At the same time, they be making, a, I mean, the transit all the way from uh, their places of work to their homes, or probably they have put some commercial developments and so forth. Mm -hmm. So the reasoning behind Fanaka is to be able to bridge that gap. How can people get something that is affordable, mm -hmm. ideal location, Again, somewhere they will be able to realize appreciation at a first rate. And that has uh, always remained around Nairobi city. Because we believe the fact that people are moving to the town center, mm -hmm. it is usually estimated that more than 500,000 people each and every year move from the rural area to the urban centers. With the biggest hours, you can imagine there is so much pressure of the uh, land surrounding Nairobi people want to settle, uh, be able to bring up houses for their families, mm -hmm. and again, want to start businesses. Mm -hmm. So that is what drove us to start in Fanaka. And I'm happy the fact that over that time, we have uh, remained committed to our course. And as we are speaking, we are on our sixth year. Mm -hmm. We have also expanded 
to other areas such as uh, Lika Road, having properties in areas such as Ruiru, uh, Juja Farm, Kenyatta Road, mm -hmm. and uh, again, I believe as we move along, we'll be able to make this dream of people owning land fruitful also in other locations. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, so you've heard it from the CEO himself. Uh, we are now in the sixth year. Uh, would you say, Ama, would you comment that uh, from your vision, are we near to the vision? Have you done uh, half of it, Ama, three quarter of what you had visioned? Good. So basically, uh, vision is like life. It's a journey. It's not like uh, this, this is the ultimate destination. Yeah. So what happens is, as we have to continue improving ourselves, re-evaluating the goals that we have, mm -hmm. and also ensuring that we become much more effective our goals. And I can tell you for sure, when it comes to the real estate sector, it's very wide. Mm -hmm. So what we have done even over time is that we have also started adopting some of the programs or some of the products that are in the real estate sector. And that's why two years ago, we also were able to adopt uh, a sister company that is Panaka Rentals that uh, really caters in terms of the property management. And who knows, maybe in the near future, we will be able also to adopt other products. So basically, I can say it's a journey. Okay. And the same way they say, the peak of one mountain is the bottom of the next one. <laughs> so, and I really thank the team that we have because most of the goals that we are able to achieve is because of having a committed team that is skillful. And uh, again, uh, it can't just be done by a one-man uh, kind of work. Yeah? It requires people coming together and being able to uh, realize the goals and the values that we work for. Okay. Yeah. Ah, nice one. Uh, you've heard it. Uh, you also mentioned of Ruiru branch. Yeah. That's also a branch that we opened recently. Yeah. Yes. Should our viewers, our clients expect mm -hmm. uh, more expansion to other areas in the near future? That's true because uh, <clears throat> we are driven by the clients' needs. Because mm -hmm. basically, when we started in this branch, uh, we have seen clients coming to us uh, and asking for products elsewhere. And I think that is what drove us to the Road because we are, we are receiving a lot of feedback. Hey, can we get us something along the uh, Road that is uh, Rilo and so forth, environs, Juja areas? So that resulted us to opening a new that area. The reason behind the branch is to ensure that we are able to bring the service home. If you come to a project, you have an office near you to serve you in terms of documentation and so forth. So, I, uh, I thank God that after opening the Rural Branch, which is two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, roughly two years, because it started uh, last year in January, at least we have also managed to do several projects in the locality. In the rural area, we have done more than two, uh, 10 projects. Uh, we are in our second project along Kenyatta Road. Again, in Juja Farm, we are on our fifth project. So these are some of the initiatives that we have taken uh, in that branch. And I can tell you for sure, uh, all our products will ensure that the approximity radius from Nairobi CBD is 50 kilometers. Mm -hmm. And the reasoning behind this is because these are areas that are growing. These are areas that people are moving to. Uh, in terms of social amenities, they are there, be it electricity, be it the roads, be it um, piped water and so forth. So, once you invest with us, the likelihood of getting that value mm -hmm. or the price doubled in a short time uh -huh. is very high. People who started with our projects, like uh, an example in Joska, mm -hmm. like four years ago, today as we are speaking, those who had bought for speculation, they are selling their properties double the price they bought from us. Oh. Why? Because mm -hmm. over that short time, people have moved in, they have developed, and uh, Funny enough, these people are even uh, getting customers from the neighborhood. Maybe someone bought one plot, but they feel they need to expound even their compound. So they ask for who is, your, who is the neighbor here, the, uh, the land is there, can they sell to us? And you find people capitalizing on that. So it's something I'm also happy about, that the fulfillment of whatever you invest in, you're able to get value, is also coming uh, through for those customers who have been investing with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. 
So uh, if you're just tuning in right now, uh, we've got a great introduction from the CEO. Remember our topic today is uh, what next after you've bought that land? And um, what value can you get after you've purchased that land? So uh, remember to subscribe, hit on the notification bell. Our numbers are running below on your screen. Since this number is right on your screen, you can call her on matters concerning land. I emphasize that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> on matters concerning land, my number is also on the screen. Uh, for Moses' number, uh, it's not running on screen for security purposes. We have to protect our own. No, no. <laughs> I'll give it a bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, lovely viewers, comment and share. Comment on the comment section where you're viewing us from. Yes. Uh, you've heard from. So, if you have the areas that you want us to move into, Share with us. The sure. CEO is right here today. Mm. He can also comment on the areas that we've, we've mentioned. So uh, to start us off, uh, Cindy, I guess so. Uh, there's a question you've been asked by many. Yeah. Maybe they're asking you, uh, now if I have the land under my possession, what next? What will I be doing with this land after that? Now you've given me the title deed. What next? Um, okay, so thank you for that opportunity, first of all. Yeah, so I think the most obvious and first thing is obviously building. Most people buy for the purpose of building. And uh, the question that comes from most of the clients that I've gotten so far is what can I build on a per se 50 by 100 plot, which most of the time you find that that's the standard uh, size of plot that we have. So you can, I, the, answer, the answer is basically you can build a bungalow house, that's a three bedroom house or even a four bedroom house because the 50 by 100 plot is quite spacious and on top of that you can also get parking space for two vehicles. So maybe if you're a family, we are the, both the husband and wife, you're both working and you've been blessed to have two vehicles at the same time, <laughs> don't, you shouldn't be worried about the parking space because there's be, there'll be ample space for that. Um, also, if you're interested in building a mansion, you can also get that. So to up to whatever floor that you'd wish for. So we are not limiting you or you're not limited to any size of a story, the number of stories that you want to build. And on top of that, you also get to maximize on the space that's left. So you can even get a, a kids play area, like a small kids play area, also parking space for two vehicles and uh, some laundry area probably at the back space depending on uh, the design of your house. So I would say that's the first and most basic need why people buy land for. Most of them is to build. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, what else is? Yeah, basically, uh, the same way I was saying mm -hmm. in terms of the ideal localities of our products. Mm -hmm. uh, the gap that you are trying to bridge, apart from someone getting value mm -hmm. in terms of acquisition, is that person who is looking for somewhere to settle their family. <coughs> and basically, if I'm looking for somewhere to settle my family, I'm looking at a location that is ideal in terms of having all the amenities around, mm. be it in terms of the roads, be it in terms of electricity, be it in terms of schools, hospitals, mm. uh, near to shopping centers, and so forth. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you find that most of our projects, uh -huh. uh, about 30% of the projects that we have sold, people have uh, managed to build their homes. So the first instance you get our, uh, with our clients is people who are looking for somewhere to develop. Mm -hmm. And uh, just like Sid was saying, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things you can do with that parcel of land mm -hmm. in terms of the type of housing. People pre there are those who prefer to do some uh, bungalows, others are mansion and so forth. Mm -hmm. Which is so welcome. Yeah. yeah, it depends with the preference. Eh? Mm -hmm. So that is one thing I've seen with most of the people who have invested with us. And I believe also the other uses, basically cutting across past uh, just building the house. Mm -hmm. Some have even uh, converted them to, to doing some agricultural work. You come uh, somewhere, people have done uh, some greenhouses okay. where they are doing some farming, tomatoes. Yeah, others will pro probably go for pottery keeping. Yeah, but I'm to those houses yeah, the yeah. which is good at least they are putting that thing uh, into commercial kind of thing mm -hmm. which at the end of the day apart from the appraisation bit of the parcel of land mm -hmm. they are also getting value from the use uh, particularly commercial yeah? mm -hmm. so and I believe it goes a long way especially going by the fact that mm -hmm. these people are also able to get ready market mm -hmm. why because we are talking about uh, projects that uh, they are surrounded by neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. So there are people already in those places. 
So kama uko na ngombe zako umeweka pale <laughs> maziwa itapotea ama haita bidi umetafuta soko mbali sana. Yeah. You still able to sell within the locality. Mm -hmm. The same thing about the groceries and the same thing when it comes to poultry mm -hmm. products. So mm -hmm. that is something I've seen with most of our people doing and which I can also encourage. If you are living uh, closer to the piece of land that you have bought. If it's only once in a while, tembea huko, see the changes that are happening, see what you can do with it, and basically, putafanya, at least that can help also to give you some secondary income. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so viewers, uh, if you have been really darling, I'm a postponing on why you should, <laughs> why you should buy the land. I'm a, you don't, mm. So you've heard from Cindy and uh, Moses, you can build your home now, and do the agricultural, uh, Farming, I'm practicing now. Sure. Yeah. So uh, we're going for a short commercial break. After that, we're going to still enlighten you with more more values you can get uh, after you bought the land. All right. My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Kenyan nationality. I've been uh, staying there like for more than five years, and uh, finding a place to invest it took me a long journey. But luckily, I came to find a friend who introduced me to Fanaka. Um, I started to communicate with one of the people there. Her name is Christine, and she took me in a good way. We talked to each other, explained everything, and then we started to the process. We can be a place in Yakonayo, Sapatuko Fortune Gardens in Kamuru. Uh, sapa nipo nileza ku kongea, kanyelezea vinyiko, payments. In, good, in a good way, akanyambia neza lipa in installments. Si lazima ulipe zote ati cash zote at once, neza lipa installments, mwa grieve venyo talipa, form where it took me. That was the easiest process nilifanya. And then uh, tukaanza, nilituma, but these are people you can want to select your plot, the one you want. And then, uh, and then you're good to go. Once the process, payments, ilikuwa to back transfer. Okay, my fears before investing was like, uh, what if I keep on paying and then later on I come to find there's nothing? Because it's going to happen. Ndiyo mana tuna watu wanagopa ku invest. Unalipa, unapata unalipa, unapatumuizo pupazote. But ukifika kwa ground, ukikuji unapata Ata ofisi ilifungwa, unaza kujibu kwa atafuto na mbua kuna kitu kama iyo. Ukienda place enyo luku umeambua ndio site, unapata kwa atakulijengo na watu ingina ujui. So, kwa fanaka, kila kitu ilikuwa inaenda poa. After how many years, after four years, nimekuja. Sikuwa najua nilibai kitu, yani sikuwa najua chagua, unataka gani, nikachagua. And here today I am, after four years, nimepata shamba yangu kwa tusawa, ready to go ahead. Salamu <laughs> the end of it, ukirudu nyumbani, ukona mahali, unutapata yu place, yati tunaribika, it's still growing, it's making value in your life. Kwa uneza kutu decide, ah, nauza. Unayuza unapata dopoa, ama unamua kujenga, kulima, but I trust Fanaka. I'm sure Bonas, you has mentioned about who is you mentioned about the uh, building a house. So maybe we can just enlighten our viewers more on what value they can. Um, we tend to have various types of clients or customers. Or I'm trying to say is we have people who invest in land, but you don't live there. Probably you live in the diaspora, or you live somewhere far, or you even have a place to build rather. But you want to get some value um, for the plot that you bought. For the piece of land rather so now basically what you can do you can lease your land so you can lease it to somebody maybe the neighbors or somebody who's in need to do some small uh 
maybe say farming or poultry keeping with, with, in your property, uh, something that maybe is not too destructive and you can list your property for that reason and uh, you can get some benefits off, off of that. So maybe you can add on something on that. Yeah, it happens because basically uh, we have properties that are so ideal mm -hmm. for commercial purposes. Mm -hmm. So you find that uh, town center or probably in a place where there is a lot of traffic, people passing by, mm -hmm. and someone can put up a business. So it is also another source of income if you can be able to lease it out to someone mm -hmm. uh, and follow the, uh, the process of leasing, whereby there is an agreement that you have to draft, mm -hmm. showcasing uh, for what period of time you are leasing out the property mm -hmm. and what you are going to get out of it in terms of the consideration. Mm -hmm. So that also forms uh, one of the things I've seen our clients uh, do on their parcels of land. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, apart from leasing, there are people who come to invest because they want to uh, basically start their own business. Yeah, I've seen people come to invest with us and start hardwares. Others I've seen even do some boreholes mm -hmm. on their pieces of land and uh, for purposes of commercial selling of water. Mm -hmm. uh, those things also happen on the ground. So there's a lot of use you can use when it comes to what is it that uh, you can put uh, the land into action that can give you value in terms of uh, some income. Yeah. So I've seen even people who have started a hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, there are those who go past now uh, that, that bit about the commercial bit, and then they look at a uh, recreation facility. I think uh, the other time I had visited some place and you find that that person has put uh, some like a very good garden mm -hmm. so the people can go there once in a while probably uh, for meetings, mm -hmm. uh, team building, they have a very nice field and so forth and such uh, activities and so forth. So some of these things are, I've seen clients uh, put up uh, such facilities mm -hmm. and the whole point is the fact that this is made possible uh, going by the fact that the properties are in ideal locations. Because mm -hmm. you're talking about places that people have already settled. Mm -hmm. So even if you are starting something like uh, let's go around the place who are still consuming the products that you're selling or the services that you have. So the beauty of having something that is closer to where you live uh, comes with the fact that you can use it for extra activities. It is not like when you invest in a plot that is so far away from where you stay. <laughs> sure. yeah? yeah, that one you cannot assess uh, such kind of things. Mm -hmm. Like now, I have a client who had bought some containers, but uh, it, it, it's like he bought them in excess. Mm -hmm. And then what he had to do, uh, because he could not manage to sell all of them at the same time, mm -hmm. he had to bring them all the way to his parcel okay. in Joska. Okay. So even uh, another time I was talking to him, I was telling him, okay. So I was showing him the advantage of having something closer to where he lives or closer to the road. Yeah. The fact that they are somewhere else. And again, you are doing all these aspects. At the same time, the property is still appreciated. So you are benefiting on two angles. The fact that next that people are still moving, uh, the appreciation continues. Continue. So you, it's like uh, hitting two birds with the same stone. Yeah. 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 So our uh, viewers, uh, kindly comment, share, and uh, ask questions. We have the experts today here on show. They are ready to answer your questions. Uh, just a quick one. Uh, shout out to Mamutsi, Kenny. Uh, we have a question here, Bonamo says, uh, do you have land along Mombasa Road? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You mentioned Riru, you mentioned Kangun Road. Yeah. Good. So, at the moment, we don't have uh, any project along Mombasa Road, but these are some of the areas we are looking uh, in terms of virtually in the near future, because uh, what we do as an organization is that we ensure at any given locality, whenever we start having products, we are coming there in full board. And in full board means if you hear us in Mombasa Road, you won't just be coming to see one project. Okay. You'll be having several of them. Because we realize there are clients who want to do comparisons. Mm -hmm. 
be it in terms of locality or be it in terms of pricing. So these are some of the areas I believe in the near future we are going to expand to those areas and we will be able also to replicate what we have managed to do along Kaguda Road and along the Road to those areas so that we can continue uh, giving our clients or people who are investing with us that much needed value. Mm -hmm. It is very unfortunate when you have to spend so much to invest in that and again you don't get value. Okay. And you can imagine the amount of money people have to put in terms of investing in estate. Mm -hmm. So what we always work on is to ensure that you get the much value that you deserve. Aaron, who is looking into investing in land but still hesitating on what value will I get, I think this show is for us today. So uh, we've got uh, from the horse's mouth on the value that you can get uh, when uh, buying land, after buying land. So you can just quickly, uh, if you have some shout outs on Facebook, Few comments mm. we see what our viewers <laughs> what our viewers are saying on both platforms yeah. remember our numbers are running below your screen when i see you said he'll share his after the show so <laughs> i'm gonna <do> you <laughs> i'd say you're protecting our own but mm. so share with us on the comment section on uh, what questions you have what anything concerning matters on land uh, we can demystify all those myths that you have on like uh, Kagundi Road, Tika Road, whatever you have, share with us in the comment section. We're going to read them and uh, we'll talk. Screen, call us. And I, I specified, call us on matters concerning land. Cindy's number and my number are on the screen. Remember, we are also coming live to you from Roy Branch. Uh, and along Kagundi Road, our plots are in Mala, Joska, Kamulu, Koma and Kantafu. So, uh, Bona CEO mentioned that uh, we, are, we are bringing more more bodies on board, uh, we, we impacted with the rentals and uh, just a month ago we we brought on board our sister, our baby sister, to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. our new baby, uh, baby. <laughs> uh, Fanaka Wema Foundation and uh, it's always said, a uh, hand that giveth receiveth, and I'll quote uh, Mother Teresa, it's not how much we give but how much love we put into giving. So Bonasio will talk more on our, on the Fanaka Wema Foundation, yeah. the bit, why we came up with uh, the foundation, and uh, we have a, an event coming soon. So he'll mention most of it after the break. Uh, also, to cure up, uh, there's one of our team members, Alkwata Kuchaj Kitu, who has Amna Stima. <laughs> so maybe you can tell us how much steamer upper kwa church. Eh, I don't have steamer, but we use generator. Mm -hmm. But we do. We do. No, na easy to visit. We use a kitambo. So we call it introduce. We use the stories are talking. Mm -hmm. So what we will go and do? We have stories are meter. Mm-hmm. We steamer. We do go one of them. We will cut your steamer line. Ah, uh, six kitambo last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. So we let her the cost. We can be on the change to tokens. This eh, is the match. Eh, cause it was uh -huh. 100k. It was 100k. 100,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we So we So how much do you spend weekly? Weekly 2,000. 2,000 for the generator. For the generator. And it runs for how long? Because we don't generate and mafuta lazima pia time ipimiwe. Sawa, watu hiwe kitoka shule. Kanajua six kagiza kamianza. So tunawasha generator, wanasoma, wanafanya homework, wanaprepare, wanakula. Saa tatu, saa tatu na nusu, tunazima. Kesho ya subuhi, unajua na muka kwenda shule, tunawasha jua hizi kakwa gizi. Wanajiprepare, wakitoka six. Nazima tena. So uh, also to cure up, uh, there's one of our team members. Alukata. Welcome back again. Uh, with me and uh, my two lovely guests. Uh, before the break, we had mentioned about the Fanakawema, but before that, uh, let's just uh, finalize with today's uh, topic. So we have quite a few questions from our viewers in Facebook. Yeah. So we have one from Eva Mude. So, so she's asking, can I still build a mansion in a 40 by 80 plot and still have a parking spot? So I'll give Moses the chance to answer that. Ah, good. So there are some properties, especially in Kamu, which we have uh, the sizes of the plots at 40 by 80. And uh, 
we have seen people do those match homes because basically as long as you have a good architecture mm -hmm. they can be able to draw for you based on the sizes of the piece of land mm -hmm. so it's all about ensuring that uh, the sizes are compatible to the parcel of land mm -hmm. and again it is able even to give you a substantial parking area mm -hmm. uh, for two or three vehicles and i've seen even people do like uh, gazebos somewhere at the corner that is also possible for a 40 by 80 and uh, these are projects that these are we are talking about buildings that are already in our projects mm -hmm. so it's even something if a client is coming over we can be able to showcase them what has already been done yeah sure so for those ones who are wondering whether 40 by 80 plot is um is fit itatoshea so sequena stress you'll get ample parking you can also build a gazebo for those of you that that's your vibe so you're also welcome to that idea we also have another question from ken Mirori. he says hi uh so hi ken so he's asking do you help in acquisition of building materials or do you only stop at selling land Sharon, I'll give you the chance to. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, at the moment, we are really uh, measuring on the real estate part. Yeah. Uh, despite of uh, having the property uh, sector, we have, we have not uh, ventured so much on the acquisition construction, uh, construction bit. But hopefully, as our CEO said, tunakuja pole pole, tunakuja kwa mpigo. Yeah. So currently, Kenny, we are, we are just on real estate part. Unless, uh, Bonasio, can, you have something to add? That's to basically that. it, because... Uh, uh, each product requires a certain level of commitment in terms of logistics. Yeah. We wouldn't want a situation where uh, we direct our clients in a certain direction which we have no clear control. Yes. What, about, what, what if a situation happens, uh, whatever it is that is delivered is not the right quality or the right quantity. Mm -hmm. You get the whole point. Yeah. So basically what we have done at the moment is that uh, we are involved in terms of uh, selling the lab from a point of uh, clients coming to commit themselves mm -hmm. all the way to helping the client also get the title deed for that particular person. Mm -hmm. uh, in future, when we get into construction, mm -hmm. we'll also now be able to take it over as a whole kind of uh, department mm -hmm. so that now at that point it's more about we yeah, will be accountable uh, for any I mean, anything related uh, to those agreements relating to the whole construction process from a point of us having the foundation all the way to delivering the keys to the new owner. Mm. You get the whole point. Yeah. yeah. So that is probably something you can say it's in the pipeline. The pipeline. Okay. Yeah. So as you, you guys have heard, so stay tuned, follow us uh, in this journey and uh, so that Uskitu is kupite. That's true. Yeah. So we also have another one, Masi. Masi is saying, I love the idea of the foundation. That is great work of God. Thank you, Masi, so much for your comments. We also tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've come to the foundation. Yeah. 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 So. All right. So uh, I think we're done with uh, today's questions. But yeah. you, you told them about uh, the newest project you have on this side. Oh, great. Ah, uh, yeah. We can talk about that a bit. Uh, like this, ma this month, uh, yeah. we launched a new project in uh, Kantafu called, uh, called Tausi Gardens. That's it's going at a very good, this is many throwaway price. <laughs> it's going at <laughs> it's yeah. going at uh, five hundred five hundred and fifty and a uh, uh, good CEO. He has a good heart. He gave an offer for the August babies. I'm August clients. We are, we are giving the clients at our uh, five hundred, which is uh, now ten days left yeah. for the offer to expire. To expire. Yeah. So it's could be change. CEO is there. Baby and is a good one. Last time, ninety four ninety nine. He's on the show. So, uh, if you're one person who's been asking about the pocket friendly plots, we have uh, Tausi Gardens in Kantafu, a uh, distance of uh, six kilometers from the road. Yeah, that but is from uh, six kilometers from, from Kaguda Kandu, road. Kandu road. But again, it's closer to Mitaboni Machakos Road because it's uh, roughly about three point five kilometers. So, again, those are areas that are really going fast. And you can imagine for only 500,000 Kenya shillings, getting a 50 by 100 and the title transfer fees equals. Mm -hmm. So, and again, it's somewhere you can be visiting anytime. Mm -hmm. If you are living within uh, the neighborhood of Nairobi, because mm -hmm. it's a short distance. Yeah, yeah. I think we are talking about uh, roughly 50 or there about kilometers from the CBD. Mm -hmm. 
and what you know about uh, such areas, especially al along Ka Kagudo Road, mm -hmm. the, the road collecting Machakos to Pitamon. That, that road is something that was built uh, the last three years. Mm -hmm. And Kitambo, I, I think what used to happen, uh, you go to Barabara and you fight Ngomezi Melala Matama <laughs> because it never used to be busy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as we are talking, uh, it's busy, it's a very busy road because again that road goes all the way to Tala, connects between Tala to Garissa Road. So it's coming up very well. So I would wish that whoever has been looking for something that is affordable, mm -hmm. going within that range or that budget, budget yeah. this, is, this is the time. This is the time to take advantage. Uh, visit our website, that is fanaka.co.k. Mm -hmm. Visit our Facebook pages, that is Fanaka Investing Limited. We are also on Instagram, we are also on Twitter. You'll be able to get our contact. Mm -hmm. Book for that site visit. The advantage with Fanaka is the fact that uh, our site visits are for free, and again, we do them on daily basis. Mm -hmm. The reasoning behind doing them on daily basis is because we want you to fit your time. We want to give you a customized service. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to come on a weekend. Mm -hmm. If you have time on a Monday afternoon, okay. where if you can have a coffee zetu, we'll be able to take you to the ground. Again, the beauty of our projects is that they are not far from our offices. So if you can just uh, within an hour, Tumefika kwa shamba na tumerudi. Umechagua plot yako na ushawa yakelea commitment. <laughs> and again, we have always been the best when it comes to delivering in terms of the titles. Because once we have completed pain, it's just a matter of 30 working days and we're able to deliver the title under your name. Mm -hmm. So, nini ngini wakanya na atafula? So this is the right time to make use of those numbers running uh, around below your screen. Uh, remember we had talked about the Fanaka Foundation. Sure. So Mike is still on you. Yeah. Tell us about the Fanaka Wema Foundation. How did we like come up with the Fanaka Wema Foundation? Mm -hmm. Then maybe you can talk about the event that uh, we are launch we are having. That's the first event we will be having after we launched the Fanaka Wema Foundation. Yeah. yeah. Good. So as a as a company, we have been engaging previously on CSL activities, mm -hmm. which we have been doing them over the last six years. And uh, one thing we have observed is that, uh, apart from us doing it by ourselves, there are people who want also to come time and again, who are asking, Sikugani uh, hapa, next project Sikugani Mnaenda, or how do we create a platform where if you are coming as an outsider, you can also be able to participate and feel that uh, you have a, a, a clear way you can support and give a direction in terms of how you'd want us to help the people there. Because uh, basically problems within the society is coming, mm -hmm. uh, but it's all about the little we can do. Mm -hmm. So that's the reasoning behind us having an Akawema Foundation to create uh, and establish, establish a, a clear way of doing our CSR activities. Mm -hmm. And again, a clear way of also trying to bring on other partners or also other well-wishers. And uh, we believe the same way we have been doing, the fact that we have now an entity that is focused on that, mm -hmm. we'll be able even to double or probably triple or reach much better than what used to happen in terms of how we can reach the society out there. And we are working towards having these activities randomly, mm -hmm. or more often than before. And that's why, just one month since the inception of the foundation, mm -hmm. we want to make a visit. So we'll be making a visit to, is it Zion's home? Yeah, Zion's Children's Home. Zion's Children's Home, mm -hmm. that is in Kasarani, I believe. Yeah. And uh, it's a place we have gone. If you check on our page, that is Fanaka Wema Foundation, you'll be able to see their story. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see the challenges that uh, they are facing. And uh, one thing that came out was the fact that they were wishing we can help them in terms of connecting the electricity. Because mm -hmm. I believe they use a generator, which is very costly. Yeah. And uh, so that is what one of the things that we are working towards. Mm -hmm. So we believe even you as a viewer mm -hmm. who might be willing uh, to help out, mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll be having our Fanakaima Foundation mm -hmm. uh, be learning on your screen mm -hmm. so that you can be able also to make your contributions. 
when you are making your contribution, pale hivi kwa account, write the word steamer ama electricity. Kwa sababu, we want to leave a mark to those children by connecting the electricity. You watch kuka kwa giza, you get the point? Yeah. And again, we make at least uh, their lives blossom a bit the light, which I believe it has idea mbali sana, be it in terms of even in doing their homeworks mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that is the first uh, project that we'll be doing. Previously, we have done a lot of uh, activities mm -hmm. in terms of our collaborations, even uh, with the Factor Foundation, uh, looking in terms of education or supporting needy students who are uh, lacking school fees. Mm -hmm. And I believe as we move along the way, mm -hmm. we'll be able to do it major and better. Mm -hmm. So, to kuja pamoja, to say they usually say, uh, not overall, all of us can do great things, yeah, sure. but each one of us can do a small thing in a great way. So, you are the kama ni shiki kumi konazo hapa, ama 20, ama 50, regardless of the amount, yeah. just make that contribution and we really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. So, the pay bill number, help us support uh, these kids, help us make a... Uh, Put a smile on their face. So, Bonamuses has invited you to help him work on the journey. So, how much are we looking at maybe for the to raise towards this event? Oh, Stima. Basically, we are looking at a budget of uh, around 150,000. And I believe uh, we, the Kenyans of Goodwill, mm -hmm. will be able to come together and be able to contribute towards that. Mm -hmm. And uh, to make it clear, all those resources go to the Panaka Foundation that whose role element is in terms of the CSR activities mm -hmm. or giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. And we also appreciate the fact that uh, Anaka Real Estate has been a great supporter, going by the fact that it's the main uh, sponsor mm -hmm. of the foundation. And we believe if we can continue with that, uh, with that progress, mm -hmm. we'll be able to make changes, uh, great ones, to the society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so check them, check us out on the Fanaka Fanaka Wema Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, their social media handles they're also running on your screen. The payable number is still running on your screen. Uh, our numbers are also running on your screen. If you need any clarification concerning uh, the today's topic, Fanaka Wema Foundation, how you can contribute, how you can be part of the Fanaka Wema Foundation, use the numbers on your screen. So uh, today has been a great show. I'll just give the last shout outs from our viewers, uh, Baxton and uh, Mutua. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, if you're just tuning in right now, this was Real Talk. Uh, Cindy, do you have any other viewers? Yeah, so one shout out goes to Ken Mwangi. Yeah, so Ken, thank you for showing uh, support. Yeah, so you can also just leave your comment and tell us where you're watching us from. And we appreciate the love and support you guys have shown us. Okay, so, so when I see you, you said you'll give your number at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> There's no problem with that. I'm always available, especially to engage with people who want to invest. If uh, you don't get me to our offices in Rai, maybe I'll be also on the other side of Ruido. Mm -hmm. And if you call this number, that is 0799 mm -hmm. 000 one. Mm -hmm. And you say you want to speak to Moses, mm -hmm. I'll be ready to engage with you on matters relating to investment and so forth. Okay, yeah. so uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, see you next Friday, next week with a different topic. Uh, that was a great show. Asante Nisana. Great. Okay. Sorry.